A U.S. commercial mission carrying astronauts from India, Poland and Hungary has blasted off to the International Space Station for the first time in decades. After multiple delays due to technical issues, the Axiom Mission 4, led by an American commander, was launched from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The astronauts will spend around two weeks in orbit, conducting some 60 scientific experiments. There are thousands of metal-rich asteroids orbiting Earth, but can they be mined for the good of humanity? CNA's Julie Yu looks at the challenges. Asteroids are getting a lot of attention lately for their potential to be treasure troves of valuable metals. Take 1986-DA and 2016-ED85, for instance. These asteroids are believed to be about 85% metal and they could potentially hold an estimated $11.6 trillion in metals, more than we currently have on Earth. And the challenge is getting to them. The four decades, space exploration was simply too expensive to make asteroid mining realistic. But that's starting to change thanks to more affordable space travel. A seat on a SpaceX rocket, for example, is now three times cheaper than the old space shuttle. Additionally, missions such as NASA's OSIRIS-REx and Japan's Hayabusa-2 have already returned asteroid samples, revealing the vast wealth floating around in space. We've calculated that there are about 17,000 asteroids that will come floating by the Earth-Moon system over the next 20 years that are candidates for asteroid mining. Dr. Joel Sursell, CEO of TransAstra, a California-based space infrastructure company, says the opportunity is bigger than people think. In the short term, this is about harvesting the resources in space for use in space. These are materials that are not necessarily very expensive or precious here on the Earth, but the high cost of carrying them out of the Earth's gravity well and getting them into space is just too high, whereas the asteroids are just up there waiting. We can grab them the materials, harvest it, and use it to make rocket propellant, breathable air, drinking water. In the medium term, we'll be actually using that material to build massive spacecraft, communication satellites, power satellites, data centers in space that will be servicing the Earth. But mining asteroids is far from simple. Dr. Sursell says it all hinges on four core challenges, detect, capture, move, and process. Detection is about our telescopes that we can use to prospect and find more asteroids. Capture is about capturing them in enclosures or bags in space because there's no gravity to hold the dirt down when you're at mining asteroids. Movement is about better rocket propulsion systems in space. And lastly, materials processing. Asteroid mining is about going to an asteroid, processing those materials into useful things. To tackle detection, TransAstra is building the Sutter Telescope, capable of spotting asteroids that are too faint or distant for current instruments. They're deploying these telescopes around the world, from Chile to the Canary Islands, in the hunt for viable mining targets. Meanwhile, another California startup, Astroforge, is staking its claim in the space mining race, with a focus on extracting precious metals from asteroids. The metal asteroids we want to go after are primarily iron, which means they're magnetic. And we use this both in the way that we land on them, so we stick to them using magnets. We also use them in the way that we refine them. So we have a proprietary refinery. And what that's able to do is take that surface of the asteroid and turn it into the precious metals we care about. So we're only bringing back stuff to Earth that's uh, worth a lot of money. Its mission took a significant step forward in February this year when they launched their first spacecraft, Odin, to scout an asteroid for future mining operations. But just hours after liftoff, communication was lost. Undeterred, the company is moving forward. Its next mission, Vestry, is already in the works and is scheduled to launch in 2026. Like any mission we're going to launch at this company, we're going to have audacious goals. And we're going to try to really go for it all. And we're probably going to fall short for the next foreseeable four, five, six mission as we go into it. And we still got to do it. Um, executing in space is hard, right? Space is a harsh, non-forgiving environment and something that we still have to be successful at. And that's what it all comes down to. But not everyone is convinced. Critics say the technology is still in its infancy and the economics don't yet add up. 
as soon as you get that asteroid, if you did, and you have this $1 trillion, then the market collapses in the metals because suddenly you've got so much of it, it's not worth as much anymore. Look at the technical challenges of it, about of trying to actually get to an asteroid, how you get there, and if you get there, how do you bring the material back? At the moment, there isn't any real option for doing it within the next few years, next decade, next 20 years, maybe longer. And even if the technology works, a bigger question remains. Who gets to own and sell resources mined in space? Commercial asteroid mining may still be years, even decades, from full realization. But with companies such as Transastra and Astroforge pushing the boundaries of space technology and attracting major investment, the once far-fetched dream of harvesting resources from asteroids is now getting closer to liftoff. <laughs> 